Green Heck. Building value in air. With their lightweight, plug-and-play design, Greenhex high volume, low speed, or HVLS fans are the easiest large diameter ceiling fans to install in any building. By following the step-by-step -step tutorial along with your installation, operation, and maintenance manual, your new HVLS fan will be ready to provide comfortable air movement in just a few short hours. Let's get started. To complete this installation, you will need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, standard screwdriver, socket wrench set, standard wrench set, torque wrench, magnetic level, drill, and a mobile platform scissor lift to access the fan's mounting location. For complete installation instructions and safety information, please refer to the installation, operation, and maintenance manual that was provided with the fan. Installation of these fans and controls should only be conducted by a qualified professional who is familiar with appropriate safety precautions and has read the installation manual. Failure to install the fan properly may result in risk of electric shock or serious injury to persons. Make sure to disconnect the power and use appropriate lockout, tagout procedures when working on the fan. We will demonstrate a common installation method using structural steel angles to span a minimum of two building trusses or joists. Should your application differ, please consult the installation manual for additional instructions. Start by mounting the field supplied structural steel angles to the building trusses or joists. It is important that these angles are sized to bear the weight and rotational force of the fan in order to prevent unwanted vibration and unsafe operating conditions. Consult a structural engineer for appropriate angle sizing before proceeding with the installation. Using a torque wrench, tighten all bolts to 35 foot-pounds to ensure a secure connection to the building structure. Next, attach the universal mounting brackets to the down tube assembly using the supplied hardware. Hand tighten the hardware until the universal mounting brackets are secured to the down tube but can still be pivoted from side to side. Safely lift the down tube and variable frequency drive VFD, up to the fan mounting location. Using the universal mounting brackets as a template, mark and drill four holes in the location where the fan should be mounted. Bolt the universal mounting brackets into place using the provided hardware and torque the bolts to 35 foot pounds. Once the down tube assembly has been mounted, it is time to install the motor. Lift the motor up to the fan's mounting location by resting the motor struts on the lift structure or cribbing. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the front and back VFD covers and set aside. Feed the safety retention cable up the down tube and pull the slack from the top side. Align the motor axle with the down tube opening, making sure that the cables that protrude from the axle are on the same side as the exposed VFD circuit board. Using the motor struts, carefully lift the motor until the axle is nested inside the down tube. Be careful not to pinch the safety cable or any wiring during this process. Once the motor axle is fully inserted, install the provided bolts into the hidden nuts inside the down tube and torque to 33 foot-pounds. Place a magnetic level on the down tube and adjust the angle of the down tube until the fan is level. Tighten the hardware connecting the down tube to the universal mounting brackets and torque to 25 foot-pounds. Check to make sure that the fan is still level before proceeding. Pull the loose end of the safety cable until the cable is taut inside the down tube. Wrap the cable around the structural steel angles or building structure that you're hanging the fan from. Once the cable is wrapped, use the provided cable clamps to secure the loose end of the cable. Make sure the U-shaped bolt is installed over the loose end of the safety cable and torque the nuts to 54 inch pounds. Cut or secure any excess cable to prevent interference with the fan operation. Depending on the down tube length that was provided with your HVLS fan, guy wires may or may not be required for your installation. Refer to the instruction manual for more detail. If your fan was provided with guy wires, use the following instructions to ensure proper installation. Please note that Greenheck model DS is shown in the following video clips for reference. The guy wire installation process is identical for model DC sizes 8 through 14, even though fan components may look slightly different. Attach the guy wires to the building structure using the provided guy wire clamps and quick links. Guy wires must be positioned so that they are 90 degrees apart horizontally and 45 to 60 degrees from vertical 
to ensure proper function. Attach the turnbuckle to the guy wire connection ring on the fan down tube using the supplied quick link. Pull the end of the guy wire through the turnbuckle eyelet and loosely secure the cable using the supplied cable clamps. Again, make sure that the U-shaped bolt is installed over the loose end of the cable. Repeat this process for the remaining three cables. Once all the cables are loosely installed, place a magnetic level on the down tube. Pull the end of each guy wire until it is taut and tighten the cable clamps. Make sure that the fan remains level. Then, torque the cable clamp nuts to 24 inch pounds. Next, hand tighten the turnbuckles in a crisscross manner, occasionally checking to make sure that the fan is still level. Cut or secure any excess cable to prevent interference with the fan operation. With the fan mounted and leveled, it is time to install the airfoil blades. Begin by installing one winglet per blade on the opposite end from the mounting holes. Align the holes with the screw bosses inside the blade and attach the winglet using the provided self-drilling screws. Then, torque the screws to 60 inch pounds. Lift the blade into place and slide the motor strut inside the hollow cavity of the blade. Make sure the painted airfoil retaining ring rests on top of the blade, not inside the cavity. Connect the blade using the provided hardware and torque to 20 foot pounds. Repeat these steps until all blades have been installed. To complete the mechanical installation of your fan, install a hub plate using the provided screws. Now, gently rotate the fan by hand to check for any rubbing components. If the fan does not spin freely, identify and correct any problems before proceeding. Now that the mechanical installation is complete, it is time to wire the fan. Supply power at the fan's mounting location should be completed by a licensed electrician prior to installation of the fan. Before you begin, verify that power is disconnected and the appropriate lockout tagout procedures are still in place. Connect the ground, power, and hall sensor cables protruding from the motor to the exposed VFD circuit board. Note that the power and hall sensor cables will only fit in one orientation and should not be forced. Reinstall the front and back VFD covers, making sure to install the cover with the gasket on the front side of the VFD so that it encloses the circuit board. Verify that the gasket is fully seated and forms a continuous seal between the black plastic cover and aluminum heatsink before proceeding. Connect the factory installed power cable to the building supply power, making sure to adhere to all federal and local codes. Connect the shielded Cat5E cable that was supplied with the fan to the two-way splitter located at the top of the down tube. Fans must be installed with a supplied cable or cable by others that complies with the specifications in the instruction manual. Route the shielded Cat5E cable to the desired mounting location for the fan control and secure any loose cable to the building structure. Connect the Cat5E cable to the communication port on the control. Mount the fan control in the desired location using the installation instructions that were provided with the controller. If the building is equipped with a fire suppression system, connect the fan to the fire alarm control panel using the supplied electromechanical relay. Fire system integration must be completed by a professional fire system installer and it is the sole responsibility of the installer to ensure correct operation of the system. Make sure the fan is clear of obstructions, then turn power on at the breaker or disconnect switch. Complete initial setup of the fan control by following the instructions that were provided with the control. Make note of the fan's blade count and diameter as these will be required to finish the setup process. Using the control, press the power button to turn on the fan. Then, adjust the operating speed and direction of rotation as needed. Enjoy the comfortable breeze provided by your newly installed Greenheck HVLS fan. If you have any questions regarding your installation, please contact our customer support team or visit us at greenheck.com.